The food fight is over. Until now, Sarasota County has had some of the most restrictive rules when it comes to food trucks. You know, the mobile vendors of fine dining. Is this good or is this bad? ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us with more, Rick. Yeah, Alan, commissioners have now loosened the rules. It is a huge victory for operators of these food trucks. Very strict. They actually were ranked as the uh, worst food truck laws in the nation. All that is now changing for the food truck industry in Sarasota County. Commissioners recently passed an ordinance that will expand where food trucks can operate. It's going to be an incredible boost. It is, it, it's day and night. Some of the big changes include food trucks can now be full size. Previously, they couldn't. Also, food trucks couldn't be parked closer than 800 feet of a restaurant. Now they can. And operators now don't have to have permits for each spot where they park. These are changes that Chris Jett and his SRQ Food Truck Alliance has been pushing for many years. Jett's wife, Michelle, who helps to run their Baja Boys Grill truck, couldn't contain her joy following the commissioner's recent decision. Awesome! It's like winning the lottery for us. Food trucks here in Sarasota County can now be parked in places like this office building. Operators of these food trucks say it's a win-win. It's great for their business and it's great for workers getting their hands on some delicious food. I'm very happy. <laughs> You know, it's really going to make a difference. But not everyone is thrilled about the ruling. Phil Solorzano, owner of Solorzano's Pizza on Siesta Key and in Gulfgate, is against these food trucks having this much free reign, even though he owns a food truck himself. And I can't imagine how we could survive if someone just opens up a pizza truck or sells some kind of food for a cheaper price in front of us. I mean, people, when they come to Siesta Key, are going to go for the cheapest spot they can go to. As for his food truck, Solorzano tells us he'll take advantage of the new rules, but he says you definitely won't see him parking it in front of another restaurant. You know, I'll use it more, but I'll do it the right way. I'm definitely not going to disrespect anybody's business. Another restaurant owner, Nancy Krongold, is all for these food trucks having more freedom. At one time, she was selling food out of her van. She now runs her popular Nancy's Barbecue restaurants at two locations, one in downtown Sarasota and the other in Lakewood Ranch. I think a, a thriving food culture helps any community, and uh, Sarasota's uh, zoning uh, and regulations were, uh, were onerous. It was, it was pretty much impossible uh, for food trucks uh, to get any traction. Many folks who we talked with are excited about this food truck ruling, saying it's going to be nice to have more access to more food in more places. I think that was a very smart thing for Sarasota to do because the food truck industry is just booming. Chris Jett says he will now push the city of Sarasota to join the county with these loosened rules for food trucks. Please, folks, come out and support the food trucks. I've been working for five years to get this to come through. This is not only for, for our business, it's for you. And Chris Jett says he plans a big food truck rally in Sarasota sometime in March, so you can look out for that. Alan? All right, Rick, thanks a lot.